Hi, my name is Mike Collins, and today I'm here to tell you about my homeschool helper tool that I built for TadHack. So what is my hack? I, with the COVID-19, I've been stuck home with my kids a lot, and their teachers are sending me lots of emails about all the different schoolwork that they have. So my idea was how can I take those emails and convert them into a format that my kids can understand better. My, like For example, my youngest, he prefers to receive uh, a notification because he doesn't read as well as my uh, eighth grader who prefers text messaging. So here's what I plan on doing. So the technology I plan to use, I'm gonna, for inbound calls, I'm going to use uh, SimWood for temp, uh, SIP trunking, IntelliPeer for outbound SMS and inbound and API calls, AppaDays for my outbound chat, and uh, as well as outbound calls, Google Chatbot, as well as uh, Google Home Speaker, Calendar API, and Node-RED for my demo. So here I go with the demo. The, the first thing I'm going to show you is my Chatbot. First thing I'm going to show you is my chatbot scheduling. So I'm dialing my chatbot now. Greetings. How can I assist? I would like to schedule a task. What date is the task? Thursday. What time is the task? 10 a.m. Are you wanting to add an assignment, a test, or a lecture? An assignment. What is the student's name? Elias, Sophia, or Logan? Logan. Okay, let me see if we can fit you in. April 2nd, 10 a.m. is fine. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how the scheduler works. I'm going to use my chatbot to schedule a task. What is, it, what is the day of the task? It is April 1st. What time is the task? Uh, let's do 1 p.m. Uh, what are you wanting to do? Add an assignment, a test, or a lecture? Let's do an assignment. Uh, what's the student's name? Let's do Sophia. Okay. And as you can see, it pops up right here. So then I need to figure out, now that I have a calendar event, what I need to do is I need to convert that into a format that the kids can listen to or on their preferred way of receiving notifications. Next I'll show you a demo of how the Google Home playback works. Now normally an email would come in to, to here and then it would be converted in, to text and then cast to the Google Home. But I'm going to do it here manually just to show how it works. Logan has an assignment due at 1 p.m. Now I'll show you an example of how I, I got the email to send a text message to my son since he does he prefers text as his method. Here's a here's a sample inject I will use to show this concept. He sends here and it, I received a text message from my device. Assignments due at 2 p.m. I'll show you an example. So as you can see that that uh, the, the last piece that I didn't get to was the uh, showing you the SIP uh, peer. I'm, I'm still working on that piece and almost done with that, but that the inbound call would go to a SIP phone for the other demo. So these are the resources I use in the hack. IntelliPeer, Asterix, MicroSIP is my SIP client, Google Dialogic Flow, Calendar API, SimWood for my SIP trunks, AppaDays for my outbound call, WebChat, and WebRTC Room, and Node-RED for my local messaging. And I wanted to thank the sponsors for, for everything they did, and it was really fun. I had a great time, and I look forward to doing this again next year.